Hey, what's up guys, Ryan here. Back for another video. Today, I've got another LEGO Bricks and Pieces haul for you guys. Plus, the VIP Pirates coin. And here it is. First of all, let's take a look at the VIP coin. There isn't really much to say about this other than what I said for the castle coin. Of course, the coin itself looks awesome. The nice classic Pirates logo. The same usual design of the three layers of plastic. The same markings on the back of the coin. And the LEGO VIP symbol up top. Another awesome coin. So now I've got a LEGO Pirates coin and a LEGO Castle coin. My two favorite themes. Awesome. And now let's move on to the bricks and pieces order. As you can see from the bags, it's very, very gray. You might be able to guess what most of this order is made up of. But anyway, let's open the bags. Oh, that's satisfying. One hour later. Okay, so let's go through and take a look at everything. First of all, We've got a bunch of these 2x1 grey tiles. I'm sure you can guess what these are for. Next up, we've got some 2x2 two two grey tiles. Again, you might be able to figure out what these are for. Next, we've got some more 2x2 two two grey tiles, but these ones have a connector in the middle of them. Again, pretty obvious what these are for. Next up, we've got some of these 6x1 light grey tiles. If you haven't guessed it already, I'm sure you have now. Over here, we've got some 3x1 light grey tiles. And here, we've got some 2x1 light grey tiles. And over here, to finish off this general theme of bricks, we've got some silver grates. Down here, we've got a standard camera. I wanted to get a camera for the detective from the detective's office. I thought it was weird that he came with a magnifying glass, but no camera. So there you go. Over here, I got another newspaper. You can never have too many newspapers in your LEGO city. Over here, I got a new minifigure head. And over here, we've got some hot dogs and hot dog buns. Tasty. And over here, We've got some bacon and eggs. These food pieces plus the hot dogs were inspired by the diner set. The idea for the bacon was given to me by the set and I feel like some eggs and some hot dogs will go great in that setting. I'll be doing a review of the LEGO Creator Expert diner set soon as well. It's an awesome set. So there you go, those are all the pieces. Let's take away these ones. Five minutes later. To leave behind just these ones. Now obviously, the theme that connects all of these pieces is the Creator Expert modular sets. As I've been getting really, really into them in the past couple of months, and now that I bought some street pieces as well, I thought it was time to start expanding the pavements of my Creator Expert modular sets and connecting them to the street plates. So that's what all these pieces are. Pavement. And some drains, of course. In my next video, I'm gonna do the first iteration of the pavement. I think I'm gonna extend the detective's office onto a street plate, as that's one of my favorite modulars right now. So stay tuned for that. In some other crazy news, I've launched a clothing brand. It's called Xfold, standing for any fan of LEGO. You can check out the website and the Instagram page. I'll put links in the description. Have a look around and tell me what you think of it. I'd love some feedback. So there you go, that's my LEGO bricks and pieces haul for today. Be sure to check out my upcoming video where I put these pavement pieces to use. And I connect the detective's office to the street, live on camera. What could be better than that? What did you guys think of this haul? And what do you guys think of my new clothing brand, Xfold? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay.